Um. Huh? <laughs> hmm. Good morning, Lizzie. Those guys are flying their kite over there. Well, I'm assembling a tandem. Huh? A bicycle for two. Could you hand me the steering wheel? Okay. Okay. Makar, that wheel is for a boat. Well, I think this one looks kind of cool. Hmm, interesting. But the bicycle was invented before, so we're just assembling it. Hmm, invented, huh? But I came up with something more interesting. But you shouldn't do that. Just follow the drawing. Who says I have to? But this is the right way. These are the rules. I was only trying to help. Honest. But you didn't help. You got in the way. Are you two fighting? Hurry up and be friends again. We're gonna fly our kite. Makar started it, so he should say sorry. Hm. <gasps> Whoa! What do you think we should do? I've got a plan. Hm. Ah. Hello, Lizzie. I just composed a brand new poem. I was gonna recite it for everyone, but then I thought you'd probably do it better. Hmm. I'll give it a try. It's fun to spend time with your friends every day, for friends are so special and dear. <laughs> <laughs> if I do say so, this idea is brilliant. Lizzie will recite Gray's friendship poem, Makar will hear it, and then he'll be Lizzie's friend again. Hello, Lizzie. I really need to say this to you. I didn't really mean. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> And if your friend, perchance, is very busy, and you get in their way and cause a tizzy. <gasps> huh. I'll show her. Hmm. Now, I'm never going to say I'm sorry. Hmm. Wait, come back, my car. It's not about you. Ahem. <laughs> Makar, uh, could you help me? I need a group portrait for the exhibition. What do you say? <gasps> Makar will finish the portrait, and Lizzie and him will be next to each other. Aha! Then we'll see it and be good friends once more. We'll pose for the portrait, and the ones who aren't in it will use a photo. Okay? Well, I guess we could try it. Hmm. so mean to you before, but, oh, uh, whoa! <gasps> you, you ruined my face! How mean! Lizzie! <laughs> Makar, are you and Lizzie gonna be friends again now? Yeah, we've been trying to get you two to make up. With a poem. And a portrait. But that's not gonna work. We're the ones who have the fight. Hmm. And we're the ones who have to make up. Uh... <gasps> Whoa, sure is some bicycle you've got there. Isn't it hard to pedal by yourself? No, Mr. Carrotton. It's not hard. Well, okay. <laughs> but it isn't very fun. If I had a friend, maybe. It's time for me to make up with Makar. Huh? <gasps> now, I'll make up with Lizzie. Makar, are those bees attacking? I'm coming! <sighs> What's the matter, Lizzie? Hop on quick! Lean on the pedals! But why? To get away from those mean bees. I saw you waving your hands so I... <laughs> I didn't see any bees. Ah! You know, I was going to see you. <gasps> wow, I was just going to see you. Let's make, make up. up. 
<laughs> I kind of got in the way while you were building your bike. Sorry, Lizzie. Well, I think if bikes were invented a long time ago, there's always room for improvements, right? I don't think they're coming. We've got to launch it soon, or there won't be any more wind left. <sighs> You can attach it to our bicycle, or should I say our tandem? Are you two friends again? You, you bet, bet we are! Hooray! <laughs> A new winter game. Grandpa, can we play hockey now? Of course you can, Nick. Just finish sweeping it off. Be careful. Have fun. Thank you. Game time. <laughs> hey, Lizzie. Hey, Gray. How come you don't have your hockey sticks? How are we going to play a game? We thought instead. We try figure Whoa. skating. <laughs> That's all fine and stuff, but hockey comes first. Wait a sec. We got here the same time as you guys. Why can't we have the ice rink first? This ice is here to stay. Everyone will have plenty of time. Okay, everyone. We'll solve this with a game. Whoever guesses which hand has the puck, they get the rink first. Hmm. <clears throat> <sighs> you go first. Nice. <sighs> we can play once you guys are finished here. Uh-huh. Hang on. Yeah, I guess they are pretty good, huh? Uh-huh. <gasps> Time's up! Oh, man. We were just getting to the good part. It's time to play hockey! <laughs> huh? Come on, come on, come on, score! This will be the best goal ever! Oh, come on! You can't be serious! This whole thing just isn't working. Yeah, true. It's a big pond. There should be enough space for everyone. Okay. How about we share? Have seats? Oh, yeah. That works. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Guys, watch it! Oh, my. Huh? Wow. Looks like fun. Wait, we lost someone from our team, see? <sighs> this is not working. Poor Mr. Carradine cleared the pond for nothing. I just wish there was a way we could share the pond. Are you sure you don't want to play hockey? Mm-mm. You wouldn't be interested in figure skating with us, would you? Hmm? Mm-mm. <sighs> 
Grandpa, what should we do? You worked so hard cleaning it off. If only everyone could find a way to skate. Together. Hmm. Oh! Hey, guys, look! Huh? I think I know what we can do! Whoa, how neat! You've invented some new kind of cool game. Our very own special kind of winter sport. Something like mountain sledding, hockey, and figure skating. <laughs> That's the spirit, buddy. We can always come up with creative solutions if we try. Can you, Grandpa, give it a go? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh. How sweet was that trick? Till he disappeared. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wow. I called dibs on the first round of this game. I'm down. Let's go. Hooray! New sport! <laughs> <laughs> no solution like a snow solution. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble for Timmy. <laughs> so, Bo, what's up? Come see. He's a bear who says his name. Look! Ooh, neat. Snowy, Angela, hi, Timmy. Nice to meet you. You're the coolest bear ever. Do you think Timmy might be hungry? Yeah, we should probably get Timmy some bear food. Uh-huh. How about some cereal for you? Oh, my. <laughs> Good boy, Timmy. Now Timmy wants to turn on the swings. <laughs> ha! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, check it out, guys. That tree is walking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> What's this huge thing? This here is our brand new orange tree. Gonna bring it over to our house. Ooh. How neat! A real life orange tree! <laughs> Am I allowed to eat an orange right now? Sure thing. Though we should probably wash it off first. Uh huh. <laughs> Help me bring it home. <laughs> Come back! <laughs> we forgot Timmy! So, have you two finished all your homework? Not yet! Uh, just a sec! Uh... <sighs> Should we leave him alone out here? No, he'll get all wet. We should take him back home with us and give him back later. Good idea. <laughs> there, carefully. <laughs> all aboard the bear train. Magic Express. Chicka, 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 chicka. Let's go, friend. Time to get you back to Angela and Snowy. Hey! Not yet. I'll give it back. No, me! <laughs> How can we return him now? There must be a way to fix him. Oh! 
nice. <gasps> so this isn't working. Now Angela and Snowy are never going to play with us ever again. What would happen if we just didn't tell them that we brought Timmy home with us? Hmm. Um. Uh-huh. Hi. Hello, Mrs. Sheep. What are you doing over here? Yoga. Would you like to try? Uh-huh. <laughs> hmm. That was fun. Okay, see you later. Any time. <laughs> Zoe, Bo, any chance you guys have seen Timmy? Uh... Uh, look, he's right there. <laughs> Our bear! Aw, <gasps> uh, somebody must have come along and ripped off his hat after we left him out here. <gasps> oh, man! And he's stained with modeling clay, too! You think it's because they tried to fix him? They only made him look worse! <gasps> Does he want a new hat from a leaf? He doesn't. Plus, it's got worms in it. How about a helmet for him? Now he's like a knight. No thanks. That's not really his personality. Hmm. Poor Timmy used to be cute, and now this. Yeah, we should have never left him all alone outside. <sighs> it's our fault this happened. What? We tried to save him from the rain, but then we tore his hat off. We're sorry, guys. And the clay was also us. We didn't want to tell you about it. Huh? We know that you probably don't want to be friends with us now. So, Bo, don't worry about that. We'll always be great friends no matter what. And actually, Timmy says a helmet looks pretty cool too. <laughs> hmm. There must be a way to solve this. Miss Sheep, can we have some thread? Why, yes, of course. I always have some with me. This is such a great idea. I know, he totally likes it. Timmy looks the most handsome he's ever looked. And a hat to top it off. <laughs> you rock! A race to say thank you. Hula hooping one, two, three. Outdoors, indoors, look at me. <laughs> and what has Bo got? Watch him get the perfect shot. You're really good at making up rhymes, though. Ooh, I bet you can't make one about, um, doing good deeds. Hmm. Do, 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 hey, hey, hey. Let's do something nice today. Zo, it's time to go in. Your dad prepared lunch for us. Just a sec. I'll be in soon. Gotta think of a rhyme first. Do, 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 hey, hey, hey. Let's do something nice today. Hmm. Is what I've written enough? Writing about good deeds is tough. Maybe just, I think, let's go and, oh! Something, something. It's too heavy for me. Hooray, <laughs> I did it! Doing good deeds is nice. Do it now and don't think twice. Oh. Hey there, Michael. Oh, see, thank you. Oh, I forgot it's lunchtime. Cool, Zoe. That was a nice thing you did for me. Letting me sit on your stump. You must have noticed how tired I was. I can't thank you enough. Wait, where'd she go? Maybe she didn't stick around to hear me say thank you. I need to go find her so I can thank her properly. Oh, and give her a strawberry. She likes those. Do, do, do. And now I can say thank you. Excuse me, Mr. Bull. Is Zoe home now? I'm afraid you just missed her. She went to Nick's house. Huh? Ooh. Huh. 
Let me give you a hand, sir. My dearest Zoe, I would just like to thank you sincerely. You are truly the kindest of cows. <laughs> hey, you. Have we met before? <laughs> Dear, you're too funny. Oh, is Zoe back yet? She was here for a moment, but left again. I think she went down to the pond for a swimming class. You'll find her there. I'd like to sincerely thank you for all your help today, Michael. <laughs> oh. Be there soon. <laughs> Thank you very much. <sighs> so, thank you. Oh, hey, Michael. You here to swim? Actually, I'm looking for Zoe. Is she here? She's underwater right now. <laughs> There's a snorkel. Why don't you join us? In a bit. I just need to practice some more first. Oh, dearest Zoe, I was tired, and you let me sit on your stump and stuff. Thanks a lot. <laughs> but where's so? They finished their class a while ago. They left. They're over there, by that hill. <clears throat> My dearest Zoe, thank you for what you did. I was walking very far to bring you these. <clears throat> hey, you guys, is Zoe nearby? Not here. She just ran home to get a hula hoop. <gasps> Want to help us make the biggest soap bubble you've ever seen? After I find Zoe. Sincerely, I mean thank. Woo! I think I ran out of thanks. Uh, what's going on? I have to say thank you. What for? For the stump. You let me sit on it. Oh, wow. You don't need to thank me for that. But I did write a poem here. Can I tell it to you? Doing good deeds is nice. Do it now and don't think twice. Thanks to this old stump again, I heard thank you from a friend. That poem was so good. Uh, should I say thank you for that too? Huh? Don't worry about it. You want to go blow bubbles with Makar and Lizzie? Looks like fun to me. Hooray! Let's race there! Hup. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> The Mystery of the Missing Pie. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How are my healthy little athletes doing? <gasps> Quiet. Shh. Bo's having his afternoon nap. Let's quietly go to the bathroom and wash up. And then we can have our snack. I say something tasty for you. Ooh. The most delicious, scrumptious, yummiest mwah, treat you've ever had. A homemade cherry pie. <gasps> Someone stole it. Look here. There's a crumb trail. Boom! 
must have been really hungry. <laughs> but how could he eat a whole cherry pie by himself? And if he did eat it all himself, how would we know? Solving the mystery is possible. You just have to make sure to be super, super sneaky about it. What do you mean, Theo? Show us, okay? Now you will have to walk like this. Wow! Keep your nose high, like this. Ooh! And only talk... Hmm. Just like that. Bravo, bravo! Hmm. Do you have a toothache? Interesting, Bo. You see how the sun is so perfectly round? It looks like the crust of a perfect cherry pie. Yeah, and it kind of looks like a pancake, too. And a coin. And a sunny side egg. Hmm. Imagining it, but is there something you'd like to tell me, perhaps? Whoa! <laughs> yes, Zoe. I was about to say something to all of you. You guys want to play some hide and seek with me? Yeah, that would be lots of fun, Bo. I think I'll go hide behind the curtains. Oh, I don't want to play. Not with Bo. He hurt my feelings, you know. You can play once, can't you? Well, I really don't know. I'm so busy. Oh, come on, please. <coughs> well, okay, but just one game. Hooray! Hooray! Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not? Hmm. <laughs> Surprise! I found you! Now... <laughs> found you, found you, Kathy. Now let's find Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Found you, found you! Found me, found me, that's okay. Now I'm gonna run away. <laughs> Bo, hey, wait! Whoa! Ugh. Oh, <laughs> There you are! Caught you, Bo! <laughs> Could that be? My pie! That's right. I put it in the fridge so it wouldn't spoil or anything. We thought you ate the whole thing by yourself. That's right. That's why I got mad. But you were just being kind. I'm sorry. I should have asked you. <gasps> oh. Bo, you deserve the absolute biggest piece of all. <sighs> just wish the pie wasn't so small. <laughs> Why worry? We'll just have to make a bigger one, that's all. We'll help, help you. you. Me too. Pie for dinner is the best. Especially when the dessert is more pie. <laughs> <laughs>